Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energenic here back with another video. So in today's video, guys, we have another team rate video. So this is part six. And basically what we do in this series is you guys send me your teams through Twitter DMs. And basically I rate them and I give you guys suggestions on how to improve your teams. So yeah, like I said, this is episode six and we've got five teams like usual. And we're gonna bring these teams up on the screen and we're gonna rate them, we're gonna give them suggestions to see how you guys can improve these teams. And yeah, so let's just get straight into it, right? So let's bring up the first team right here. And this first team belongs to Faha DIX. So basically he's got Glitch Ben, Pink Diamond Tracy, Pink Diamond Paul George, Pink Diamond Aaron Gordon, Pink Diamond Chris Webber in the starting lineup. Off the bench, he's got D Wade, Maravich, Rudy Gay, Bam, and then he's got Lamarcus Aldridge. Okay. So for your team rate, I'm gonna give this like a seven and a half. You guys say I, I've been too lenient with the team ratings, so I think that's pretty accurate. The reason I say seven and a half is because you have some players that like you have no opals first off, and then some of the players you have are kind of old, but not too old. I'm just I'm I'm gonna disregard the last three players that you have there um, on your bench. But uh, the glitch Ben, I don't like him. I mean, uh, you know, he's just he if he can't shoot, bruh, he, he's really limited, especially nowadays with all the shooting range extender, you know, point guards, the pink diamond Tracy, he's good, but, you know, he's definitely not as nearly as good as he used to be. Paul George is good. I would keep Paul George right there. Aaron Gordon is good, but not for the power forward position. So I would probably sell him because you have rudy gay off the bench i was gonna say you could send him to the bench but i don't know if he's better i don't think he's he, he's better than rudy that's up to you for you to decide if you want to say he's better than I, I would take rudy over aaron just because he's newer but um yeah he's good but not for the power forward position he has no rebounding badges chris weber should not be ran at the center i feel like he's too small for that i would run him at the power forward so if you get rid of aaron gordon you can run chris weber at the power forward and then you can get another center people who i would suggest are um people like uh the campus legends guys i always recommend those guys because they are actually really good i think those guys um can serve you pretty well i also think harry i don't know if it's harry giles i'm gonna just i'm gonna just call him harry giles from here on out i think he's good he's he's uh 6 11 so he's like about one inch taller than chris weber so i would i can run him or i would run him at the center or maybe somebody like zadrunas or if you can get um like one of like i said one of the campus legends guys and then you'd have Chris Webber at the four and then whoever else at the five and then you can be good. Also, I would probably get more than one of those campus legends guys or just really look for another big man because, you know, I don't think that LaMarcus Aldridge can serve you pretty well. I think you should drop him because he doesn't have clamps. You want your players to have clamps, your, your uh, big man. Nowadays, I think it's important for even big men to have clamps. So I would try to get somebody who has clamps over that over the, um, the LaMarcus Aldridge. So you can keep Bam right there for now. Um, the bench seems actually pretty good. You know, I, I kind of like your bench more than I like the starting lineup, to be honest. But yeah, so mainly I would get rid of the Aaron Gordon at the power forward and I would get rid of the LaMarcus Aldridge and I would move Chris Webber to the four and then see who else you can get. So yeah, I hope that helps, bro. All right, so for the next team, we've got Mark Hyatt's Mark. He's got Opal Ben, Brennan Roy, uh, Paul George, Giannis, Chris Tabs. Well, the bench has got Harden, RJ, Brandon Ingram, Pascal, and Dino. I think it's Dino, right? But all right, so for this team, I would give this like an eight out of 10. Um, the reason I say that is because I don't really understand. I mean, no, no, no. You have good players, okay, right? You, all these guys you have are good. They're all, literally all good players. I just feel like you could do a little bit better. Like if I had James Harden, I'm starting him over Brandon Roy. And I would probably, if I'm starting him over Brandon Roy, I'm having Brandon Roy run over RJ and I'm taking RJ out the team. Not only that, but I would have Dino starting over that Giannis. And then I would probably drop Giannis entirely because I don't think he's better than Brandon Ingram or Pascal. So I would probably drop him, start Dino and pick up another center, campus legend guy, or you can um, pick up anybody who you want really, Manu, uh, Pink Diamond, Manu Ball players like that you have enough mt 214k you have enough that you can pick up somebody pretty decent so and if you're high on the token market which you seem since you have rj i'm assuming you're in the pink diamond or the opal you can get somebody off the token market tim duncan or um joel Embiid or someone like that i would get joel Embiid honestly but yeah so if you did take my advice and run james harden at the shooting guard starting next to ben 
then you're going to need a point guard. That's where you get yourself maybe a Caruso. Caruso is going for about 100K. I feel like he's a good point guard that can, you know, serve you pretty well to, as the backup position. If you want to go cheaper than that, you got John Wall, Darren Fox, um, Pete Maravich, players like that who can run the point guard position as well that can serve you pretty well. But everything else besides that, I think everything else is fine. I like how you have Brandon Ingram at the three, Pascal at the four. Pascal should be playing the four over Brandon. I think that's a good idea. And yeah, that's really it. Um, nothing really much else you can improve here. Maybe get if you can get some more opals, that would help too. But you know, just take the advice I gave you for now, and I think you should be good to go. All right. So for the next team, we have. Uh, I mean, this picture is a little blurry, but this one, it's actually kind of like really blurry. But this one was submitted by Goated Tech. I think that says. I I can barely see. I can see with the players. I can make them out, but the text is really hard to see. I think you had 29 KMT, but. We've got Pete Maravich, Damar, Andre, Dino, Manute Ball. On the bench, you got Opal Trey, Cam Reddish, Diamond, Ben Simmons, Giannis, and Dan Issel. Okay, so this needs a lot of improvement. I'm going to give this team like a 6 out of 10. The only reason I give him a 6, yeah, you have a lot of pink diamonds. I give it a 6 out of 10 because the one Opal you do have first off is like the worst one, which is Trey. Um, the Diamond, Ben Simmons is old. The pink diamond Giannis you have is terrible. And I'm not, I'm not trying to like, you know, be disrespectful or anything. I, I'm, I'm just being straight up. I, I'm telling you, you know, who, who you should replace. The Dan Issel, he's fine. Uh, oh, no, you did have Dan Issel. I said he was that Trey was your only opal, but you have Dan too. The Dan Issel is fine if you run him at the power forward for now until you can get better players. So run him at the power forward. Don't run him at the center. That doesn't mean run Giannis at the center just because he can play the center. Drop him entirely. I would sell him if I'm you because he's terrible. And then I'd run Dan at the set that power forward and I pick up somebody else for the center position. The but for the starting position, the dino and the minute ball, leave those guys there. Um, you can leave Pete Maravich, Maravich at the point guard. I would honestly run um Maravich at the shooting guard and drop Damar, maybe sell him. I'd also sell Iguadala because he's too short for this for the small forward position. If you really like him, you can use him in TTO. He he would be perfectly fine for that purpose, but if you're going to be playing unlimited or you know 5v5s or whatever do not run that andre Godal at the three i would get somebody else rudy gay is better than him uh you can get some spotlight sim players like uh justin's justice winslow that's better than him if you need a good point guard shooting guard you can get somebody like lance pink diamond lance stevenson or if you need a good shooting guard you got tyler hero like these are good look at the spotlight sim cards because those cards are actually really good and they're dropping them pretty consistently those cards are really good okay so my advice to you, I know I'm, this is a lot because I feel like it needs a lot of work. If you still, if you really want to keep Trey Young, start Trey Young, put Maravich at the two, drop Damar, drop Iggy, maybe pick up Rudy Gay for Iggy, keep the big men there. Now you need a point guard off the bench. I would say John Wall, De'Aaron Fox, someone like that. Um, then for the shooting guard, you keep Cam Reddish. For the small forward, you got to drop Ben. If you really want to budget small forward, I'd get Diamond Gerald Wallace. For the power forward, you'd have you'd move Dan Issel there. And for the center, you can pick up a Campus Legends big man or you can pick up Harry Giles off the Spotlight Sim collection. And those should serve you pretty well. Unless you want to start Diamond Rex Chapman um, for the shooting guard or for the starting point guard, which is actually a, a good idea. I would do that. I didn't even see those last three players. Leave Terrence Ross back there. He has no clamps. And in fact, I would have Dan Issel at the power forward and I have JaVale McGee at that center position off the bench and then i feel like once you do all those things your team would be much better so yeah i know this one was long and dudes are hitting me up on playstation bro but i hope that helped bro all right so for this next team this is submitted by it's dunk so basically he's got luca jordan karolenko james worthy wilt john wald vince rj Giannis, and joel Embiid. this is a really good team i'm gonna give this team i'm gonna give it an eight and a half and you might say, oh, look how many opals he got. How is that not a nine at least? I'm trying to be more strict with with the uh, like the, um, the team rates because it can improve. Like there are improvements that can be made for sure. Like I would improve upon the John Wall. You guys know I love John Wall in this game. But if, if you're really building a God squad, you got to drop John Wall. The RJ could be replaced and that Giannis can definitely be replaced. Well, the whole bench could basically be basically be replaced with Vince. I would I think Vince is the best player you have off the vent off the bench. I'm about to say the bench, bro. And uh, I think Joel is probably second. So I would keep them for now, and then I'd work on replacing the John Wall, the RJ, and the Giannis. The Giannis I would replace him with any Campus Legends big man that is available, whatever one you want to get. 
I think those are fine. Or you can get um, someone like Harry Giles, which is, I think would serve that that role pretty well. You know, um, RJ, I would replace him with. You want to ideally place him with an Opal because you have these these really good pink diamonds. In order to to get your team to get better, you need Opals. So maybe you already have Karolenko. If you can somehow get a Mellow, if you can snipe a Mellow or get a KD, someone of that sort would, would do best. And if you do end up getting one of those guys, I would start them and have Karolenko where RJ, where, where RJ is at. For the point guard, you'd want to get someone like Ben, Magic, uh, D-Rose, Alex Caruso. Those are all better. Uh, Steph Curry, I think, is even better than that John Wall. Um, not Trey Young. I wouldn't get Trey Young. But yeah, I think, you know, you have a ton of point guard options that you can use Kyrie. So even though if they're not as good dunkers as John Wall, I do think they're better players than John Wall overall. So yeah, I would definitely go that route if I were you. Eight and a half out of 10. I hope that helps, bro. So for this last team, we have Jameer Frederick. So basically he's got Baron Davis, Brendan Roy, Cam Reddish, Otto Porter, Wilt Chamberlain, Diamond Jermalin, Pink Diamond Clay, Pink Diamond Paul Pierce, Danny Manning, and Thawmaker. I'm gonna give this team a six and a half six to six and a half somewhere in that range the reason i say that is because you have a lot of old players and i feel like you're running players not in the right positions i mean mostly it's just the old players right so brandon i'll tell you no, no i'll tell you everybody who's who's old i didn't mean, i didn't mean to say brandon i meant to say baron baron davis is old jeremy lynn is old clay thompson is old i think paul pierce is a bit old he's not too old but he's a bit old Danny Manning is new, but he's really, I don't, I'm not a big fan of him. Thon Makers is, is kind of, he's fairly new, but he's, he's not really that good. He's really, he's good for TTO, but in a, like a 5v5 situation, I don't think he's that good because he doesn't have clamps. So those are really like the whole bench has to go. Honestly, the whole bench has to be replaced. I know you're, you're, you're probably a budget bowler. So what I would recommend to you, if you want to get more MT, hop on some budget snipe filters. You know, I, you guys, you, you, you guys know. I talk about those in stream and my videos and all that so you, you can definitely make some more mt but the players i would keep are brandon roy cam reddish i would keep Otto porter but i would not run him at the power forward obviously you want to keep will if you went 12 and 0 so basically send Otto porter to the bench send him to where paul pierce is at drop paul pierce drop danny manning drop don maker drop clay thompson drop jeremy lynn that jeremy lynn it, he's not even fully evoed bro you should not be running him there um, point guard recommendations that are cheap Avery Bradley over Jeremy Lin shooting guard recommendations that are cheap uh, Grayson Allen over Clay Thompson small forward Gerald Wallace power forward who's a good who's a good power forward you can get someone like a campus light or no actually I would get Harry I would get Harry I you guys know I've been talking about Harry a lot in this video because he's actually really good okay that Harry bro he's kind of he's low key he's low key OP so I'd get him if I were you. I do think he's really good. But you can also go with somebody like Cody Zeller. Or yeah, Cody Zeller. He's okay. He's seven feet. I mean, you'd actually you'd run him at the, the center. So you can get Harry and you can get Cody, which are they're both like not expensive. So I would get them if I were you. I think those spotlight sim cards are good. This Cody, he has an 85-3. I'm looking at him right now. He he has 78 perimeter defense, which really isn't that good, but you know, he can shoot. Um and he can rebound too. He has rebound chaser, Hall of Fame, Worm Hall of Fame. So I would definitely go for them. He has he does have clamps and he has range extender. So I would get him for the center over Thon. I'd have Harry over Danny Manning, Gerald Wallace um, for the Paul Pierce, for the shooting guard at Grayson Allen, point guard, Avery Bradley, Ping Diamond. And then I think you'd be good. Also, you got to replace Baron Davis. Baron da did I give you a recommendation for Baron Davis? I, I, don't, I don't think I did. Let me find you a good point guard that you can replace Baron Davis with. So honestly, a good point guard you can get. I mean, there's plenty. Uh, Jimmer Fredette is good. He might be a little small, but he's good. Lance Stevenson is good, but I think he might be. In, I don't know if you can afford him. Uh, Gilbert Arenas you can get, who's better than Baron Davis. I'm just naming players who are better than that Baron Davis. So uh, John Morant, I would actually get the a di I think a diamond John Morant. There's a pink diamond you can get too, but I think a diamond John Morant is better than that. Uh, you got De'Aaron Fox, John Wall. Pete Maravich, like these are all good options that you can use on your team. I even think Pink Diamond Steve Nash is better than that Baron Davis. That Baron Davis is really old, so you want to get somebody who's better. You got, you can get Westbrook, 
uh, there's tons of guys you can get so definitely run one of those guys over that Baron Davis and you should be good to go so that's gonna be it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit the like make sure you subscribe we're in a road to 20k subs so we just hit 12k just before recording this video so thank you guys for all the love and support uh, I stream every day 5 p.m. Eastern so if you want to tune into those there's a schedule I think I'm going to start ending at 10 though, instead of 11.30, so like an hour and a half earlier, just so I can get some more work done for myself and just have more time for myself. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.